everybody, what's going on? Speedy Diver here, and this is another Japan Crate. Yes, this is another Japan Crate, and this one, what makes it special is it's for the New Year's 2020, baby. This one right here is brand spanking new for the New Year. Hence, it even says it somewhere. It says premium, where does it say it? There it is, Happy New Year 2020. And it even says it in Japanese, which is so freaking cool. So you can learn Japanese a little bit along the way. Now, if you don't know what Japan Crate is, it is a Japanese food monthly subscription box and it has free shipping worldwide which is amazing if you guys want to know how much this box does cost it is $35 a month on a monthly basis so that's if you buy it every single month individually but if you buy it on a yearly basis it's $31.66 which is a good deal plus you can save $3 off your premium subscription if you use code speedy3 yes $3 off everybody it is a killer code <laughs> so make sure you use it if you're interested in picking up a Japan crate. Then these are also amazing gifts, by the way. Like, I, I would love to get one of these under a Christmas tree or just for like my birthday. They're so good. <sighs> Da, da, da. Also, all the pricing details of everything is just going to be in the description. Also, the link to buy a Japan Crate in the description below. Let's see what we have here. Booklet update. Uh-oh, there's a small mistake in your booklet this month. The Ribbon Coca-Cola is listed as a caffeine-free, but it's actually regular Ribbon Coca-Cola with caffeine included. Good to know. Also, you do get one of these booklets that literally just tells you everything in English, because everything is literally in Japanese right now. It'll tell us everything in English so we can read and understand what it is. Okay, so we're starting off strong. We're going right for this little dude. Whatever this is, is the first guy we're going to. This is a cider ball. Pack a punch of cider flavor to your taste buds with this jelly. So it's jelly cider. Oh, wow, that is... Okay, that's way more wet than I thought it was going to be. Oh, that's awesome. That is so good. Fettuccine gummy cassis, cassis orange flavor. I'm butchering the name. I apologize, but basically that's it. Um, These gummies are shaped like flat Fettuccine pasta. I've never even heard of that pasta before. Maybe I'm just living under a rock. Ooh, so that's first impressions. They look like they're covered in sugar. Yes, they are. Interesting. Let's try them out. Those are great. Mmm, those are really, really good. Oh, I love them. Candamina honey lemon soda. Enjoy these honey lemon soda flavored candamina gummies. Oh, little teddy bears or something. Oh, they are. They're so cute. Let's eat them. These have a great taste, and they remind me of the texture of like a Haribo gummy. Just because I can't help myself, we're getting to the freaking party ice cream Kit Kats. What? I didn't even know this existed. As you can see, they are only the bonus items, so you can only get these with the Premium Edition Japan Crate. That's why it's so worth it to upgrade to the Premium Edition. And I'm not just saying that, because literally you get Kit Kats that you wouldn't get in the regular original Japan Crate. It's an ice cream party with Nestle Japan this January for the new and limited edition release. It tastes like vanilla ice cream with a slight hint of cinnamon and mint for a refreshing seasonal treat to start the new year. You get a whole ton of them. This one says LOL, this one says cheers, the other one says enjoy, and they're all different colors and they smell heavenly. Have you ever seen a Kit Kat like that in your life? I don't think so. Please tell me if you have. That looks amazing. <gasps> Let's try it. That is a great tasting Kit Kat. It reminds me of party ice cream. One, two, chocolate. That's literally what it's called. Enjoy crisp, crunch, and chocolate all at once with this chocolate wafer bar. It's literally a Kit Kat, just not the Kit Kat brand. So I wonder how this is going to taste. It looks a little iffy compared to the Kit Kat. Oh, and it's also way harder. I, I tried to uh, break it the other <laughs> other way oh whatever it broke this way let's just try it so now this was actually like it was decent but comparing this to a Kit Kat, because that's the only thing i can really compare it to it's not even close it is not even close to a Kit Kat. it's worth the experience to try it though because it's it's more of a uh it's got a lot more chocolate in it at least that's what it tastes like doraemon Doraemon gum? It's gum. Put it that way. It's just gum. But this guy right here, I've seen him before. I have definitely seen him, but I just forget how to say his name correctly. Now this, I am not going to try. I always tell you guys, I try everything within the box, but gum is the exception because obviously I'd be chewing this thing for hours. This is Tekinoko no Sato Village Double Nut Cake. In celebration of 40 years, 
uh, Meji released this limited release version of the oh so popular Takenoko no Sato chocolate covered Japanese biscuits shaped like bamboo shoots. Opening it up, let's see what they look like. A little hard to tell. Wow, oh, okay. So they do look like the other ones that I actually got the, in the other crate. Kind of interesting. Let's try it out. This looks amazing. These are really, really good. They taste like chocolate cake. Mmm. Oh, I'm going for another one. This is really, really good. Next, we have the Funny Soft Candy. Whip up some delicious grape goodness by making this sugary DIY treat. So this is now the DIY kit for this month. Now this I will be saving later on with the soda as well to try it out. I will be making this as well as taste testing that cola. This has the most interesting name I think I'm ever going to say. This is called Fuku Fuku candy. <laughs> fuku fuku, hashtag fuku fuku in the comment section. It says start 2020 lucky with this hard candy inspired by Maniki Niku, a common Japanese figurine, often believed to bring good luck to the owner. And yes, I have definitely seen these around even in the United States, which is really, really cool. Interesting. Good luck, I guess. Let's try it out. Now, one thing it doesn't tell you is that these are actually, I'm pretty sure, grape flavored. They taste like grape. So, uh, Hence the purple. <laughs> but they're really good. I do like them. And hopefully 2020 is going to be a lucky year for me. So this is actually called Mike Popcorn Kyokurion Kanubu Tea Flavor. I know I'm saying that wrong. But this popcorn is a collaboration between that company I just said, who holds the number one sales in the kelp tea market and has long been loved in Japan. And Mike Popcorn, Japan's leading popcorn brand since 1957. One piece, you gotta have a couple. A little more, come on, there we go. Popcorn, let's try it out. So personally, I actually don't taste any tea at all. Uh, it just tastes like regular, really, really good popcorn. Uh, yeah, I don't taste the tea. It just tastes like good popcorn, so I know I'm definitely gonna eat the whole bag. So next we have this interesting piece. This is Almond Mochi Choco. Delight your taste buds with chocolate and mochi goodness with this treat. The rice cake mochi flavored with the taste of strawberry and almond. Let's just, if it looks like the picture, I'm gonna love it. Okay, it looks nothing like the picture, but it's delicious. <laughs> you can see the mochi, the white is supposed to be uh, dictating what the mochi is. As you can see the clear, that's all the mochi in there. And there's chocolate on the very inside. Oh, it's so good. Mmm, I love it. This is, oh, it's just so, so good. Next, we have Grape Donguri Gum. Get the best of both worlds of hard candy and gum with this grape confection. The gum portion protrudes from the inside when bitten or after you get to its center. So that's pretty cool. Not gonna try it out though. Like I said, don't try gum in these videos because they just take way too long to actually try, but uh, still another gum. Awesome. Next is crisp chocolate. Indulge in the flavors of malt and rice cereal with this crispy chocolate rice cereal bar. And I was right. This is very, very similar to a crunch bar. It just doesn't say crunch. Let's try it out. It tastes just like a crunch bar. If you know what a crunch bar tastes like, you know what this tastes like. Very, very good. Next is Akabi gum. Watch this gum magically transform your tongue to a bright red color in minutes. Ooh, so I guess like that dude, <laughs> you're gonna have a bright red tongue. This is called a chocolate soft. Ice cream, marshmallow, and chocolate. Enjoy all three at once in this cute ice cream cone full of fluffy, sweet marshmallow and chocolate cream. Oh, I can't wait to eat it. This is seriously the most kawaii thing I've ever seen. I love it. It is so, oh, it's oh, so cute, it's so kawaii. Ah! Let's just eat it. So I took a really nice side bite out of that, and you can see the chocolate in there. That is like, this is so good. I absolutely love these. These are amazing. <laughs> Garlic Cottage Potato Chips. Recently released in Japan, Kalbi collaborated with Sapporo Beer for these, oh, what beer? What? Taj Hard Fried Potato Chips. Oh, maybe cottage is this. Maybe it's the type of beer? Maybe it's not cottage cheese, I don't know. Garlic flavor is savory while the added hot taste of chili pepper is used to enhance the umami flavor. For those of age, the chips pair great with a glass of Sapporo. Cheers. Oh, the garlic is unreal. Ooh, the smell of garlic gets to me. So let's try them out. The crunch of these chips, 10 out of 10. The taste, if you love garlic, 10 out of 10. They're too garlicky for me. I'm not gonna eat any more of these. I'm probably gonna give these to someone else uh, who may like them. And then you guys thought there was just this and the DIY kit left. You were wrong. <sighs> Do -do 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 what is this? I still don't know. This right here is a fortune-telling Monk Blanc. Yeah, I said that right. Inspired by the Italian dessert, Mont Blanc, 
Pureed sweetened chestnuts topped with a dab of whipped cream. The sweet is a miniature version of the real thing with a chocolatey taste. P.S. There's a love fortune on the back of the lid. Ah, oh, it is Japanese. I don't know what it says. If anyone could translate that, let me know what the fortune says. Like, please let me know. <laughs> but this looks very, very interesting. Oh, it's hard. I thought it was going to be like a jelly of some sort. This is seriously melt in your mouth. Goodness. So good. Like, I, I have to resist from taking another bite, like, as I'm telling you guys this. It's that good. So last but not least, there's the really cool limited edition Coke, as well as the DIY kit. So let's try the drink out, and then try the DIY kit. Let's get to it. As you can see, original taste, Coca-Cola. This is the one where you actually pull the wrapping. Yes. You pull it, and it makes a bow. Okay, I already started it. This is peel right here, which I'm gonna do. And then it brings you to this point, where then you let that hang free. You know, you let this hang free. This is so cool. And you actually pull this, and it's gonna make a bow. Oh, it's so cool. Look at that. It actually literally makes a bow. What? And it even has writing on it. And there's a bow on it. This is so sick. Why don't they have this in the United States? Come on. This, I, I'd be giving this to a bunch of friends. I'd be like, hey, I love you. Take that. <laughs> it's so cool. Oh, it's so sick. Woo. Okay, that, that actually seemed a little more carbonated than usual, but let's try it out. You could never go wrong with a good tasting Coca-Cola. Mmm, man, that is refreshing. After all this food I've been tasting, this literally hits the spot. And then there was this. The final DIY kit. Ooh, let's get it. I love the DIY kits because you actually get to make them. Oh, it's so jelly. So for the DIY kit, it says experience the individual flavors of Ramun Soda, Lemon, and Strawberry from Japan individually and then mix it all up at once for an astounding grape flavor explosion. Okay, number one is going in. Just putting a little bit in there. Oh man, this is that stuff that's like super jelly. <laughs> Look at it. Okay, so here's the first one. Uh, I guess you literally just use this thing. I don't know. I'm gonna try it out though. It's very, very sticky, as you can see. Like insanely, like, I don't even know how to try this. Okay, that was definitely the strawberry flavor. Here's the lemon one. Okay, let's try the lemon flavor. Very lemony. Okay, let's pour this one in. Yep, this one's a thick one. Okay, let's try this one out. The cola flavor. Yep, tastes like cola. Now you know what we're gonna do? We're gonna mix these all together. The DIY kit. Do a nice mix in, and it's supposed to make it taste like grape. That's what it said, so uh... Oh, this is interesting. This is so different. There we go, we got a good scoop of it. Let's try it out. Okay, so after mixing all of these, I don't know if it's grape that I'm tasting. It's, it's supposed to taste like grape, and yes, it kind of does taste like grape a little bit, but uh, I, whatever it's supposed to be, it's supposed to be grape. Whatever flavor I'm tasting, it tastes really, really good. It tastes better than any of those individually. So if you do get this, I recommend mixing them. It tastes way, way better. So that's gonna wrap it up for this month of January 2020 Japan Crate. This is the first Japan Crate of the new year, and I just wanna say this one was phenomenal. Absolutely loved it. They my a favorite item is either, it's always the Kit Kats. I love the Kit Kats and the soda this month. Even though it's regular Coca-Cola, the bow just makes it like a thousand times better. So with that being said, if you guys are interested in picking up a Japan Crate for yourself, because you should definitely treat yourself, I will definitely be leaving the link in the description below to go pick one up. Also, make sure you guys use code SPEEDY3 to save $3 off your premium edition Japan Crates. And I'll also be leaving all the Japan Crate unboxings I've ever done over here. So if you're maybe undecided about picking one of these up, go check out those other videos. And make sure you guys check out the best recommended video for you guys right here. Subscribe to my gaming channel and make sure you subscribe to this channel. Also, I'm currently doing a giveaway, so if you guys want to join, all you have to do is like, comment, subscribe, and uh, you're entered into winning either an Xbox One, PS4, or Nintendo Switch. The one winner is going to be announced January 15th. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll catch you guys on the flip side.